Hey guys, it's Gavin here, and today we're going to jump right in. Um, if you have a Shopify store and there's this new update um, called the Dynamic Checkout Buttons, and I'm over here at Documentation, and um, if you have one of the main free Shopify stores, um, you will see the, the, uh, the update appear automatically, but since... Uh, so we're talking about this right here. It's uh, the fast, the buy now button. Um, okay, so I have a site over here, and I want to change this to to the buy now. Um, what I would do is I'd go over to the store, okay, and then go to the themes. And then uh, edit code. And then what we're going to look for is the the product page. Okay, so here's product liquid. Wow, that loaded really fast. And what I'm looking for is actually the cart, um, the add to cart form. So it starts like something like form. Um, here, we'll go back here to find out. So we right click here, inspect. We're looking for this button right here and this form action. And what we're going to do is uh, remove this form action and have an end if at the end. So it looks like this form action is in the uh, top space or side header template product. So it's in the template product page. No sections. And this is actually my first time looking at this code, so just to put it out there, um related product. Oh God, oh God, oh man. Let's see. Oh God, that's not it. Oh man, am I, am I gonna find it? Oh, oh gee, oh my God, no. Um, oh man, I, I don't know where it's at. Oh god, oh man, product up. So, oh, oh gee, uh, I, I don't think that was it. Oh man, oh man, dude, I'm really getting stressed out here. So, what I'm gonna do is search on um, product. Uh, <laughs> okay, so here it is. Here's all the stuff that has product. Okay, here's template. Product. Oh gee, oh man, oh man, oh gee, this is all so complicating. Oh gee, where, where does the code actually start? Oh gee, oh, oh, what is that? Oh gee, oh man, what's that format? Oh man, let's, let's keep scrolling. Oh gee, this is a lot of code. Oh man. Okay, so product meta brand. Oh man, it looks like I'm getting somewhere though. Compare app price. 
Oh, gee, that's a, that's a lot of that's a lot of code. Oh man, here it is. Okay, so I found the form action button, and what I'm gonna do is remove this right here, and then go over to this code right here. Um, let's see, there's a link here somewhere, and I'll have this link below, guys, so you don't have to go. Searching around, um, edit your theme code. Okay, so this is the page that has the code. It's literally just this code right here, and we're gonna take this code right here, or and replace it with the form code. Um, so like that, and then find the end if the well, like the end of that form. So, oh gee, then more searching. Oh man, oh man. Okay, and once we find that form, um, the ending of that form. Okay, so here's the button. Since we're here, might as well add the other part of it. And the other part of it is this form payment button. So this is this will be where the button is actually going to be at the, the buy now button. And I'm, I'm gonna place it right here, right next to the current button. And then, okay, oh man, oh gee, oh god, oh man, I don't know where it ends. Oh man, ooh, okay, where does that form end? Like, seriously, where does it end? Oh man, did, did I pass it? I pass it? OMG. Oh man. No way. Okay, here's the form. This is where the form ends. Right here. Man, this is a messy code, not gonna lie. Okay, and we're gonna replace that with, uh, end form. And that should be it. Um, it. And this, I'm just gonna label it for later usage. Um, this is the end of the form. Okay. So I can find it if I need to find it again. What is it like line? Line 2107. Okay, so we're gonna go over here, refresh it, and um, okay, so now it's just a buy now button. There's no add to cart. Looks like, oh gee, oh man. Looks like they can't really coexist together. Um, <laughs> oh man. Yup, that's, that's a, that's a pretty big buy now button. And what's happening here is actually the, uh, button and the new button are right on top of each other. So to fix this, um, one way to fix it is going back to the code and putting a div around it. So like they're like, yeah, like like a div around it. Okay. Oh gee. Oh man. Oh man. Oh gee. Oh god. Where was this code at? Okay, so here's the payment button, here's the button, and what I did is actually put this inside of it, and that's how it appears at, but put it right underneath it, so I need to find the end of this right here, um, and then put it right below, so here's the end of the button, and I'll put it right here, form, payment button, this will, this is the, uh, 
this is the um, the uh, quick checkout quick checkout button. And I'm just going to enable it. Okay, cool. And what we should have here now is they're on top of each other. And they should be on top of each other. Okay, so you see that? It's like there's an add to cart and there's a buy now. Bam, just like that. Just like that, that is how to do it. And this theme is so messy, so you could use a little bit of cleaning, but there you go, guys. That's how you update your theme to, um, that's how you update your theme to have, like, the buy now button. And what it does is, when you click on it, it goes directly to checkout. So, Oh, my internet's kind of slow, but yeah, you see that? It just goes directly to check out. Um, skipping cart. Um, maybe you don't even, maybe you don't even need this button anymore. If you wanted to, you could remove it. Like, if you're selling, like, one product or something like that. But there you have it, guys. So that's what I showed you guys how to do. Um, in summary... Here. Yeah, in summary, it's just changing the form, this form right here, it's changing the form with uh, just removing it and having something else at the end as well. See, it doesn't look like it changed at all, but it did. So it's just updating with this new code. Form product form and then end form. And the link for this is below. So follow these steps right here. Um, simple stuff, guys. All right, make sure you like and subscribe if you uh, found this helpful and have a nice.